right guys we are back again <laughs> all the stuff we took yesterday and they have just brought way more out i see all that stuff we took yesterday y'all and they brought a ton more out this is crazy and we made a huge dent yesterday some hot pockets right here I'm going to grab. Look at all these biscuits that Babe got. Oh, crescent rolls, okay. box of cheese you guys they cut this radio down y'all this is some stuff we got some stuff as always I'll show you everything once we get home we stacked up again guys alright so we just stopped at this dumpster right here babe pulled this out um, and I'll show you everything else I'm right back oh, gosh yeah or somebody got more chicken gizzards y'all look at the car I don't think I'm gonna make this all one haul maybe I will but this is the haul that we just got sausage sausage and chicken gizzard kind of day I may actually make that part of small haul I will let you know. Alrighty guys, welcome back to part three of this crazy amazing haul that we got. Now this is from a freezer going out at Dollar General. And I do know a couple of people say, well, how do you know the freezer going out? <laughs> I remember someone commented like, whenever people see big hauls, you know, you guys always say the freezer goes out. But there are a couple of tips. Like one, everything will be ice cold. Two, everything will be... um kind of further in date than it normally would when you would get it out of the bin and three there would just be tons of stuff like our dumpster was overflowing and it had like maybe 10 12 baskets beside it today 
um, there would just be a ton of stuff. So those are tips and clues on how to tell if your freezer has gone out at your store. Also, you can always just go in the store. If you see the cooler itself and it's empty, or the lights are off or something like that, it doesn't look normal, nine times out of 10, your freezer has gone out and you will be seeing tons of stuff. I remember when we did our Dollar Tree haul uh, in November, or yeah, November, Halloween day, so October. Okay, so when we got that haul, we were actually in the store getting something else. We just happened to walk to the back of the store, saw the cooler was completely empty and all the lights in it were off. So we kind of looked at each other because we knew what that meant. Okay, a freezer's out. We drove around back and we got that huge haul from Dollar Tree. I will insert a clip right here. What's up, Frugal Fanatics? Listen, it's the middle of the day. You guys know we never film in the day, but we were at Dollar Tree. I noticed that their, I mean, their freezer was empty. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. So yeah, that's just telltale signs on how to know when your dumpster is out. Let's get into this third haul. This one is going to be pretty small, not much to it, but still I thought it was worth showing you guys. We have two containers of the crescent rolls and these are eight rolls in these um, per container. Now I like to get these in the fridge ASAP y'all because when these get warm and they start popping, they scare the heck out of me. Like, I swear, we got a biscuit haul one time, and they started popping. Y'all, I thought somebody was shooting at our house. I was so confused. And, I mean, this is not really an area where you hear gunshots, so I was confused. So, get these in the fridge as soon as you get home or film or do whatever. You need to get everything in the fridge, but seriously, that, because it gives me anxiety now. I think I have PTSD from that um, incident where that roll exploded and scared the bejeez out of me. Okay, so next we have some Old South Mild Country Sausage. Just regular sausage, BHA, BHT, and citric acid added to help protect flavor. All right, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen of these country sausages total. These are going to be 16 ounces per roll. Also comes with a country gravy recipe on the back, it said. So let me, hold on. Okay, I'm going to try to center it so you guys can read it. Let me know if this is how you guys make your gravy. Breakfast sausage, flour, whole milk, water, black pepper, and just put it over biscuits. If you guys want to take a screenshot, I will try to hold it still so you can. There you go. All right. So we have another of the Smithfield Premium Sausage. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, and theirs. They've stuffed in some uh, bell peppers. That's pretty interesting. I bet that's tasty. Okay. We have some Imperial Butter. And we've been getting quite a bit of this. So, um, yeah. Quite a bit of that. So that will just add to it. We have some craft cheese. We have a mild. Oh, we have a mild cheddar. We also have a sharp cheddar. So two packs of those. You guys, know we did get some of these earlier. So I think these are just the stragglers. Very grateful for that. We love shredded cheese. And last but not least, can't believe this is last. This is it. Finally, we have ground turkey. This is the Carolina Turkey. Um, I'm assuming company. And these are just one pound rolls of ground turkey. Any recipes, any anything? Oh, it says distributed by Butterball. Oh, that's interesting. This is Butterball Turkey. It's just under a different brand. Or at least it's distributed by Butterball. Okay. Used by 1 14 of 22. So we have quite a bit of time for that. Alrighty, guys. Believe it or not, this is all that we got. And we are grateful. And after we get this set up, I'm going to film a little bit behind the scenes. So definitely keep watch for that behind the scenes video. And we are about to go give. We are about to give a ton. So I'll probably add some of that in the behind the scenes video. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We will see you soon. Bye, guys. And not so fast. Okay, y'all. I missed a whole box of stuff. I'm not even going to sit this on the counter. So I will just show you. What we have here, we got some beef patties. All this stuff is numbered too. And I noticed the other beef patties we got were numbered as well. So I'm assuming they're numbering them for like accountability purposes if they have to write it off. Y'all look at all this stuff I missed.
This is crazy. We got a Lunchable. I may um put this on the counter for the thumbnail picture so you guys can see it. All right, we got some butter. We have some Kingsford seasoned pork carnitas. That actually looks pretty good. No sauce on this one. Oh, these are the classic beef patties. Somebody in the comment section said you guys had tried these and did not like them. So let me know if that was you in the comment section. We've never tried them. Every time we get this, we always end up giving them because I feel like this is a great meal for maybe somebody that has kids that just needs to hurry up and make a meal real quick. So yeah, one of those. Now this is new. I've never seen this one like even in the store. This is, these are the uh, quarter pound patties, but they have Vidalia onions in them as well. Very interesting. And these are just beef patties. <laughs> Extra value meats, beef patties. Still 16 in here. I bet those, these look a little bit cheaper. I bet they're cheaper than these, these Flanders kind. All right, what else is in here, girl? We got some jumbo biscuits, my favorite. Some sweet cream salted butter. We have, ooh, I think this is something babe wanted. We have some Hot Pockets pepperoni with a garlic buttery crust. We like to grab stuff like this, more so him, because these are quick and easy. Like if I'm working or editing or doing something, he can pop that in the oven. It'd be done in no time, and he can just snack until... Um, I'm able to cook lunch or dinner. So I do love having stuff like this on hand. Let's see what else is in here. Turkey breast, deli fresh, oven roasted by Oscar Meyer. Oscar stuffed this in the oven himself, roasted it for us, and packaged it up. This is oven roasted turkey breast. Got some bacon. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. Um, Oscar Mayer Natural Slow Roasted Roast Beef. Got like two of those. And then last but not least, we have some cheese. Kraft cheese. Mozzarella cheese. And this sharp cheddar, yeah. Sharp cheddar. Velveeta shreds. and more mozzarella. All right guys, now we're at the end of the video. So I'm gonna put all this on the counter, take a thumbnail picture, and then we're gonna work on putting it all up. Thanks for stopping by, see you in the next video, bye.